Hello everyone, this is Ray Cabrera once again with another Rebind review. Um, this time I just uh, received today my Coloca Rebind from Diego in California and uh, it's again beautiful work from Diego. Um, it's a forest Sakota goatskin, forest green with the um, I had the tooling. Try to get a uh, simulate the tooling on the Allen. Um, got a smaller yap than I'm used to. It's just a different style, and and you can see it's the uh, large print ultra thin Bible with the 2007 uh, paper. So it's a nice nice uh, paper, French mill paper, which uh, is almost. Um, I call it bulletproof. You can't see the other side. Very opaque paper, uh, but you notice that on the uh, on the ends, I did put uh, I did dye them red, and it does give the Bible a not a better look than the um, gold that was there before. And um, but let's take a look at the grain here. You see the grain is a nice. Deep grain. Now, the reason that I like using Sakoto is because of the grain. It's a, uh, it's just uh, nothing like it. Um, and you can see Diego tooled it for me, uh, similarly to the Allen style. Uh, see with the double tooling on the end and the uh, no ribs, the tooled ribs on the um, spine. I had to put Holy Bible, New American Standard Bible. Just like the Allen and Coloca on the bottom. Had them put th three um, different shade of green just to kind of um, highlight the green and keep the color consistent. But um, very beautiful grain. Very beautiful leather. Um, the leather came a little bit, uh, I guess, more of a marbled forest. Um, it's not like a solid... Uh, color but um and you also see the back side here the leather you see the green here I guess just the green on Zakoto is second to none um Zakoto leather I, I, I tend to lean towards um more than the others he did um use the um the lambskin which kind of makes it really soft um, I had used uh, a goat skin on my blue one which is really nice but you can see that the lambskin does make it a little bit more um, limber if you like a, a more of a limber Bible and you can see it actually softens the Bible quite a bit um, see he stamped on the interior there um, uh, Sakoto goat skin and I tell you, it's it's no almost no yap at all. But he, but you can see the detail to the corners. Diego's detailing uh, is. I said every buy I buy from him just gets better and better. Um, looks like this Japanese cloth that he used here for the inside liner. Again, very nice. It highlights the the green. This is very similar shade of green, um, and I, I just love it. Diego did a, another great job. Um, this is a Bible that I want to use to read, and um, I wanted to have a nice cover on it. Um, I do have the green Allen. And I will read that sparingly, but I want something that I can use all the time and uh, in a nice skin where I can really enjoy it. So this is it. Um, hope you guys liked it. I, I put some pictures up on the page. Um, and um, you can see what some other Bibles I don't have on me right now. But... Um, Coloca um, Rebinds actually has their own website now, and he's made it easier to order. He can actually just 
order online now and choose the leather you want to want to rebind with and he's left a lot of the hard work um, he's taking the hard work away from you and and kind of doing it himself which is which is good and again makes it easier for for the normal person to um, be able to um, order a Bible that doesn't have much knowledge of Bibles but again look at look at the the gold how uh, how nice it, it is I have my old Leonard's rebind here of my uh, my soft hand gold skin in black it's one of my first ones I did in my coffee Bible but you can see the difference when you when you uh, put that red underneath it gives it a deep deeper color and um, again Diego's detailing of his work is really really good he's got really good hands he's very artistic with the work that he does um, again the turnaround uh, fairly quick probably a couple of weeks um, if you want uh, again if you want a well rebound Bible um, it's kind of do you know where you can choose and pick what you want and how you want it done Diego is probably second to none he's very versatile He's, he actually listens to what you want. He, he's flexible. He tries things where others won't. He, he'll use leathers and stamp things and um, tool them to your specs. Um, and in that case, um, he's, he's probably one of, one of the only places that does that. Um, and I got even even with style, if you want a, a different style Bible, he... Um, he uh, He's one of the few people that will actually try. He, you know, some other places you go to, they won't put leather on the inside. Um, they'll only use cloth or other linens or or, or that plastic. Um, some places won't put ribs on it. Some places um, will only um, cut the leather and let it meet, but won't put it underneath like he does here. Um, uh, he'll do both ways. He'll do it. He'll meet it. He'll put it underneath. So that and that's what I mean. He he's pretty flexible in how he does his work, and he he allows you to be more creative. If you're like me, who always has ideas on what he in his head and what he wants, and Diego's probably the guy that you want to try. Um, but again, very good work. Very happy with with the um, the grain that I got. <laughs> this choice leather. The work that Diego did, um, but most importantly, I'm very happy with the book block that I have, and um, I have something that I can really uh, enjoy and cherish. And um, I hope this helps. Take care.